What's way more dangerous than most people think? Eating a lot of spinach. Believe it or not people have had kidney failure from 3 spinach smoothies in a day. This is due to the high levels of oxalic acid. Being knocked unconscious. Lots of popular media makes it seem like a minor thing that an average person can shrug off after a short period. In reality, if you are ever knocked out, then you have suffered brain damage. It's possible there might not be any lasting effects, but it's a serious injury and you 100% need to see a doctor if it ever happens to you. Towing a stuck car with a chain. There is a list of people who have died from having the chain come through the back window and kill them. Listening to loud music using earbuds. Or really any headphones. Having permanent hearing damage sucks. Attempting to change garage door springs without knowing what you're doing can kill you. Bites from other human beings are actually really dangerous due to infection rates. People know that rip currents are dangerous. But don't think about them as a real threat often enough. Blocking your nose when you sneeze. Though it's rare. You can damage blood vessels in your eyes and nose. You can rupture your eardrum. And you can even have an aneurysm. Kind of random one. But don't eat uncooked slugs or snails. They can have parasites that will make you paralyzed and eventually kill you. An Australian kid died a couple of years ago from it. An awful way to go. Anything under tension can be dangerous. Guitar strings hold around 200 pounds of tension. A game of tug of war can put thousands of pounds of tension into a rope. It's even been known to kill people. Here's a list. Walking downstairs with your hands in your pockets. Never ever do it. Especially not drunk. A fall down even one or two stairs with no hands to catch you can break your neck. I've seen a video of a man tripping and falling down four stairs. Hitting the top of his head on the wall and dying right there in the stairwell. Palm trees. They are so much heavier than they look and their branches can kinda just fall off without warning. Living alone. If you get seriously injured or ill at home and you're unable to reach a phone. Your chances of survival are much lower than if you have at least one other person in the house sold. Newts. Many newts. Such as the rough skinned newt. Produce a toxin that is 10 times more potent than cyanide. They are only dangerous if you handle them and then don't wash your hands afterwards. Or if you eat the newt. There have been multiple reports over the years of someone eating a newt as part of a hazing ritual for a college fraternity. And then dying. The toxin that some newts produce can kill you inside of 15 minutes because the toxins block the sodium receptors in your nerves you. Essentially stopping your brain from communicating with your heart. Scary stuff. TLDR. If you handle a newt wash your hands. And never put a newt in your mouth or you will die. Did. Did not think this would blow up this much. Thank you to the redditors that provided so much information about tetradotoxin. To see it in action. Check out this video from Nat Geo. Electricity. People seem to have little understanding or respect for it. It. Reading all of this and wondering how am I alive. And still have teeth. Blunt kitchen knives. It may seem obvious but they're more dangerous than sharp kitchen knives. Texting while driving. Put your ducking phone away you duck. Living beyond your means. Always having to leverage assets and become financially overextended in order to have things here and now. A lot of household chemicals. Mix the wrong stuff and it's game over our seriously hurt. Hiking in the woods with earpieces in. Even in a suburban area. It seems innocent enough. But not being fully aware of your environment can you lead you to not notice snakes or coyotes. Glade plugins. My childhood friend's house burned down because of one of them. Also, a plug-in battery charger burned down a customer's garage. Hippos kill more people than lions do. Not getting regular checkups. I almost died because I had an internal hemorrhage that was slowly killing me. I was so depleted of iron and blood that the nurses thought my vitals were written in wrong because I should have been dead. I needed 3 pints of blood in one sitting. Coconuts. Coconuts kill 300 times more people a year than sharks and only 16 attacks occur per year and one death every 2 years while coconuts kill 150 a year from falling from trees. Not taking antibiotics to kill a sinus infection. 
Kinda seems obvious but 13 Wyomi didn't think so and that's how I ended up almost dead. Breaking up with someone even when there was no domestic violence in their relationship. My daughter was killed by her ex-boyfriend for breaking up with him. There are many men and women killed for this same reason. One that springs to mind for me is flushing your sinuses that is. Putting water up your nose. If done with straight tap water brain eating amoeba can kill you. The phrase we've always done it this way. The ocean. Both for swimming surfing etc and for boating. It is 100% not just a big swimming pool or lake. Human beings are in a completely alien environment as soon as they step off the sand or dock. And our perceptions about how things ought to play out no longer matter. The ocean is completely indifferent to human reasoning and even to human mortality. I'm teaching a good friend to sail right now. And he's naively ambitious as far as sailing long distances in a very small boat. I wasn't joking at all when I chided him by saying. You haven't been scared enough times yet. The reason I'm so conservative and around the ocean is because I've developed a healthy, totally reasonable fear of it over the course of my life. Anybody who isn't a little afraid of the ocean hasn't spent enough time around it. Source, Tug Captain, Lifelong Surfer, and Lifelong Recreational Sailor. Please, if you're going out on a boat, make sure you at least have a first aid kit, a fire extinguisher, a working knowledge of how to call for help on a VHF radio. An anchor to stop you from drifting into rocks if the engine fails. And PFDs for everyone. Situations you've never even imagined can arise so. So quickly on even a short outing. Water currents. Riptides in the ocean and eddy currents in streams. We have some river canyons with signs describing all of the ways you can die in the river and people still die swimming there. Mold. It can be poisonous. Make you hallucinate and eating it can seriously mess with your body. Roosters are these. Make sure you're on their good side. Mine has bitten and scratched me more times than I can count. Blowing into an orifice. Butthole. V. ETC. Can cause an air embolism. Wild animals. Most people know that they're dangerous. But they don't think about how dangerous they are. An example of this would be something small like a rat. They carry diseases and can destroy stuff if not taken care of. Platypuses they are venomous and not a lot of people know it. Trying to repair power supplies or old CRT TVS. Monitors. If you know what you're doing you might not die. If you don't get your affairs in order. These devices even unplugged can release enough electricity to kill you instantly. When I was leading computer repair my instructor called them with downmakers and to avoid repair of them. Reddit mods who manipulate information. Not going to the doctor when something is wrong. You errant macho for not going. It doesn't make you more of a man. It makes you an idiot. If you live in America and don't have insurance I'm not talking about you. We all know these people though. I'm not going to no damn doctor. I'm fine. I knew guy who hadn't been to the doctor in 30 years. 30 years. Always bragged about it. Never sick. Blah blah blah. One day he goes to the doctor because he loses a red ton of weight for no reason in the span of a month. Turns out he has so much cancer in his ducking body that he's a walking miracle. Stomach. Colon. Lung. And it was in his lymph node. Doctors gave him a prognosis of like 4 months with aggressive treatment. He foregoes the treatment and died in a month. Go to the ducking doctor. Your best chance against cancer is early detection. Hell that's with everything. If you wait too long it might be too late to do anything. Roadworks. Yael Duck has got to stop speeding past my elaborate road cone setup because a hard hat and orange vest will not save me if you go amiss. Hypothermia if your clothes get soaked and you can't dry out and warm up. Temps in the 50s F. 13 C. Can kill you. This is how people going on day hikes get killed. Something happens and they can't get back to their car lodge. The weather changes and they can't find shelter and they get wet. They die of exposure. My scoutmaster taught us boys the hard way by teaching us the importance of planning. He made us traverse a stream. And while our packs didn't get wet because we were carrying them above our heads, we did get soaked up to about our chest in cool water. The temperature was around 55 F that day. Which is not that cold and kinda nice. After we got to the other side. You would not believe how quickly we got cold. Especially if there is no cover from the wind. And within a few minutes, 
Our hands became useless and we couldn't start to fire. The shivering got so bad. It was incapacitating. The cold set in fast. We learned that day that we needed to make sure our clothes remained dry, even if that means stripping down butt naked to cross the stream. And that we needed to have fire already made and a smoldering ember ready to go along with tinder so that we could get a fire going quickly. That is if we didn't have matches or a fire steel. So he taught us that we should cross the stream. Put our dry clothes back on. Start a fire to warm up and dry out. And immediately start working on shelter. Hard lessons don't leave you. Even after 30 years. it. For clarity. Drinking alcohol. Not even getting drunk. I have cirrhosis mostly because I love beer, whiskey, and food. I now have incredible pain, anxiety, and have to take meds that are awful. The only fix is a transplant. The catch is that you have to be almost dying to get a chance at one. Enjoy. Not every day. Not too much. Avoid the binge. Good people.